Hi, this is uh, Steve Elge here, your Living Life on Purpose coach. <clears throat> this is number five of one of my six videos on self-worth. And this one could be the hardest of them all for some of us to take on board. Now, I'm not going to summarize what we've done so far. Instead, I want to jump straight in and tell you how awesome you are. You are a human being with so much potential. This is the video where we turn negative thoughts around by substituting them with positivity. And before we start, <clears throat> let's, let's get some things clear. First of all, life is full of challenges and some challenges that are often traumatic devastating and, and hurtful. Life is 50% contentment and 50% challenging for everyone, no matter how famous or wealthy or positive you are. Secondly, negativity is a human trait that is left over from primitive times when negativity contributed fully to our survival. We needed to be wary of potential predators who might kill steal uh, our food or capture our children or women folk. This clearly is no longer the case. Many of us live in a socialized world of wealth, abundance and prosperity. <clears throat> we no longer need to default to negativity for survival. Thirdly, your brain is awesome and sophisticated and it's yours to do with you as you will Use your brain for the benefit of others and most importantly, your own life and well-being. You only get one life, so maybe make the most of it. And fourthly, all learned negativity from your life experience so far or inherited even from your family culture is a shroud, a shroud that is covering your natural and innate self-worth. Self-worth cannot be added to or taken away. It's your birthright. Nobody picked you up as a baby in the delivery room and said, give this baby some self-worth. You already had self-worth and you still have self-worth. It's only your distorted thinking about who you are now as an adult that changes how you think and feel about yourself. So in fairness, um, your brain can be lazy. Your brain finds it easier to stick with what it knows and just repeat. Our brain doesn't like change. And morphing towards positivity takes effort and motivation. I get that. So let's look at ways to replace the addiction of negativity with positive thoughts and actions. Just do it. Firstly, reframe your habit of negativity by pausing to monitor your thoughts and then become present in your body or in closely observing the magnificent world around you <clears throat> and ask yourself, do these thoughts serve me? Positive thinking is a skill and developing this skill requires strategies. Here are some strategies for positive thinking. Number one. Don't say anything to yourself that you wouldn't say to anyone else. <clears throat> Be gentle and encouraging with yourself. Develop self-compassion. Secondly, decide to build a small library of positive affirmations. They need to be personal to you. I have 13 affirmations, which I repeat to myself every day, looking in the mirror with, with self-connection through eye contact, direct eye contact. Thirdly, do something positive daily. Do a positive action daily. For example, start with giving somebody a compliment, anyone. Fourthly, spend time with positive people and reduce the time you spend with negative friends and acquaintances. Fifthly, treat life's obstacles as opportunities. Inevitably, obstacles will seem distressing or even overwhelming at times. However, looking at the bigger picture, 
or looking at the long-term view, recognize there is always a lesson to be learned from obstacles. Sixthly, ask yourself, what am I grateful for? What am I grateful for right now? Make a mental note of something that you feel grateful for right now. Seven, avoid external negativity. Plenty of examples, stop listening to the news. Listen to a positive development podcast. Listen to your kind of energizing music. Do a guided meditation. There's plenty on YouTube. And finally, exercise. Stimulate those endorphins, any form of exercise. I will often combine walking with meditation or music or an affirming podcast. Eight, also look for positivity in others. For example, give a Give a silent compliment to someone, someone else. Admire their good looks, their height, their demeanour, or how well they're dressed, rather than make judgments or comparisons. In my last video, we will explore self-worth and spirituality. But in the meantime, I want you to do a factory reset on your brain. I want you to spend time shifting your brain from negativity towards positivity in the way I've just described. Do this for 30 days. Put a reminder in your diary and see how your life changes because your life will change and you will begin to live your life on purpose.